So Corrupt says that Tupac getting killed on Suge Knight's watch was why he left death row. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and you gotta check this out. So in a new interview with The Art of Dialogue, Corrupt shared that by the time he followed Dr. Dre's lead and requested to be let out of his contract, all of Death Row's artists had become weary of how much life at the label mirrored street life. Well, I think Snoop Ben was tired of, uh, you know, the negativity and all the rest of that. And you know what I'm saying? Everywhere we was going, we had to, you know, keep our eyes open, 10 toes on the ground. We had to stay heated and make sure that we protected ourselves, you know what I'm saying? And then to go to death row and feel the same way as when we in the streets, you know, we all kind of got burnt on that. So, you know, the first one to leave was Dr. Dre. The second one to leave death row was corrupt. The third one to leave death row was Snoop. He went on to explain that while his group mates Snoop Dogg, Daz Dillinger, and Superfly were still signed to death row after Dre left, he simply couldn't get past the fact that not even Suge Knight's presence could assure their safety. Do I, Dr. Dre set off the whoop wop like, you know, it can be done, you can leave. When I saw Dr. Dre do that, uh, Tupac got killed. When Tupac died, that was the, uh, the final straw for me. I was like, see, this is too much. You know, niggas is getting shot even with Shug. Now that is it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what? I gots to go. Because if this the case, I need to have the homies with me and the homies need to get paid. Despite the criminal element that seemed to follow death row at its peak, Corrupt said in a separate clip from his appearance on The Art of Dialogue that Snoop and Daz did their best to keep Tupac away from the Los Angeles gang culture they had all grown up in. Upon leaving death row, Corrupt went on to launch his own imprint, Entre Records, at A&M Records, through which he released two solo projects. But he remained part of Suge Knight's roster as one half of the Dog Pound with Daz Dillinger. Once Daz finally stepped away from the infamous label, the duo changed their name to Dog Pound Gangsters, DPG, after Knight claimed ownership of their original name in any music they had recorded prior to their departure. Corrupt would rejoin Death Row in 2002 and eventually become its vice president. He released his fourth studio album Against the Grain on the label in 2005. But what do you think about what Corrupt had to say in this new interview? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.